Welcome back to Gullish and Truck Life. In this video, we have just three more nights in the North Island and we spend them at one of our favourite places. We meet this guy who makes us some cool things, catch up with friends and are even lucky enough to see some orca swim past. We then head to Wellington to get on the boat for our Cook Strait crossing and to pick up our niece Natania and help her get some things across to the South Island. We had to make them all move back. <laughs> Quick, let's it's get it <laughs> We're just past this door here. We're about to hit the road. Oh. Go, Natania. <laughs> I'll start this video where our last one ended, arriving at the place where we first fell in love with our house truck 19 months ago. We've been here a few times now, but this was our first time in the summer, so we got on lots of swimming in the sea and the river. We had friends visit, and also our friend Yvonne, who sold best to us. Peter, who we met, is a travelling craftsman who travels markets in his house truck and makes things out of silverware. He made us these cool fork hooks to hang my macrame hat hangers on. <laughs> um, sorry, I put them on backwards. It's that way. Nothing goes to waste, and he showed us his other cool creations. He also does these cool wind chimes and he even custom made a ring for Summer's tiny fingers. So there are orcas swimming past and everyone's running down. leaving Otaki Beach today and heading south. We're going to Wellington and catching the 130 sailing. South Island bound kids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where's Diesel? In the cab. Oh, yeah. Can you guys do the steps and stuff? So Marcel rang the Blue Bridge and um, told them about our drama getting on the boat last time. 
so they suggested that we pull up early, which we are anyway, because we're meeting our niece to collect some of her stuff and her to take her across the Cookstrait. She's going to Austria. Um, so they suggested, yeah, getting there early and they might just have a look and decide to unhook Zippy before getting on the boat this time. But I'll just see when we get there. Just waiting for my ride. <laughs> ah ha ha, beastie! So much rainwater just came off the roof. We weren't really on a land this time round, so all that rain last night just accumulated <laughs> on the roof. And now beast is Niagara Falls. Yep, we good to get that roof sealed so that water doesn't find its way in. Haven't had any problems with leaks for a long time actually, but we know that it can get in if there's too much water up there. Must be just student lens, student angles. Now that we had the A-frame incident, we have to double check, triple check everything. And Marcel just left the handbrake on, so good thing we checked. So here's hoping getting onto the boat is easier this time. Last time was definitely not easy and we even had to unhook the car to swing around on the inside of the ship. We are also picking up our niece Natania, who has just completed her degree at Victoria University in classical music and performance. She is now off to further her studies in Austria and we are so proud of her. So Marcel has gone over into the terminal to see if they're going to get us to um, unhook the car or not. I think it's probably a good idea to unhook so that we don't have to do it while loading again. And um, we're just waiting here for my niece now, a friend of hers is dropping her off with her bike and some of her stuff that she's taking to the South Island. And um, yeah, we're going to have a bit of stuff that we're transporting across the big TV and Rasania's stuff. And yeah, we'll be in Blenheim, I think about 5.30, something like that. <laughs> These are passing my, no, stay. <laughs> my crop. Stay. <laughs> Go see cousin. She's the oldest cousin and you're the youngest one. <laughs> oh, no, it's, not, no, it's, not. it's just I'm taller than her. Must be. <laughs> yeah. So just a little bit of stuff, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Natani, we'll put everything in and you rush back and get your bike, okay? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you just go. Okay, you want to So we're just waiting on Natania's mountain bike and realised that there's no room with the caravans parking beside us to get um to get the bike in the door. So we're having to make everyone back back. I had to run over and talk to the guy. We've got three caravans. I've had to back back to make room for our doorway. Hopefully it fits in the doorway because if it doesn't, we can't open the ramp at the moment. So she's almost here. Your fault. We had to make them all move back. Oh. <laughs> Quick, let's Oopsies. get along. <laughs> but hey, it's all good. Like, it's the blobby big blob place before we go. <laughs> welcome, Natania, welcome. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, we're tra we're transporting massive TV for Uncle Ben too oh. behind the couch. There. <laughs> Sorry, you're all good to pull forward now. Oh, thank, right, thank you for that. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all done. We had a bit of time to kill before our sailing, so we popped across the road to the market at the train station to get some food for the trip.
idea of getting on the boat this time. Yeah, man, we're, we're the first on out of the passenger or domestic, and um, there was nobody else on, so we could do a really good swing. Right. So good. Diesel didn't travel so well that trip. <laughs> Had a few little accidents on the floor. And our side door was wide open, so we don't know what happened there. In our next video, we travel to the Nelson Tasman area, visit friends and family, and then head to Music in the Mountains to arrive in convoy with three other families and two groups of friends from Kaikoura. Thank you so much for watching our family's adventures. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time.